It's crunch time here on the jump. The Sixers beat the Pacers last night, guys, on the road without yeah. Joel Embiid, who was out due to a sore back. It was their first win without Embiid this season. So, Zach, what did that tell you about the Sixers? You know what I like? 21 points for Ben Simmons on 9 of 12 shooting. Didn't look afraid to get to the foul line. That Ben Simmons, the one we've seen for the last 10 days or so since that fourth quarter against Boston, they get that guy and the Tobias Harris that's played this season plus Joel Embiid. They're a problem in the playoffs. They're a threat to win the East and Ben Simmons yeah. is the litmus test. Absolutely. And look, I was more impressed with their defense, the defensive side of things and not just last night. But overall, Philly has been locked in, and they have a couple of wing defenders that don't get enough credit. They, everybody praised Seth Curry for his scoring and shooting ability, but he's a pest on the defensive end. And we already know what Ben Simmons brings to the table, a guy that arguably could be the defensive player of the year. He is the anchor, but I just love how guys are buying into their roles. Doc Rivers has these guys being stars in their roles, and I love watching this 76 a team play. Yeah, that's such a good point, Perk. You really like the way the front office with Daryl Morey and Elton Brand has worked hand-in-hand -hand with Doc Rivers to do two things, right? So they change personnel a bit to let the players that they have be featured more, have more space, more shooting around their two main guys. But then Doc has also, as you pointed out, he is getting the best out of everyone, right? Mm -hmm. He's getting the best out of Joel that we have ever seen. He has definitely told Ben, hey, you just have to be Ben Simmons. You don't have to be a three-point shooting machine. Just be yourself. Play your game. He's getting the best out of Tobias Harris again, which we saw here in L.A. And it's just fun to see guys succeed the way they can play instead of trying to be something they're not. So that's one of, that's one of the things I like most about watching the Sixers right now. It's also been fun watching the New York Knicks, guys. And, mm. and, and look, not everybody in the sort of reconfigured way they are approaching the game has been getting playing time, right? You know Tom Thibodeau. He plays his big guys big minutes. That doesn't leave minutes for some of the other guys. So Dennis Smith Jr. has asked to go down to the G League where he will play down in the Orlando bubble with their affiliate. Smith, of course, one of the key pieces in the Porzingis trade back in 2019. Just hasn't gotten the opportunity he wanted this season. And so he wants to play more often and keep his skills up. Perk, what is your reaction to that? Well, I actually love it. A mm -hmm. uh, uh, smart move by Dennis Smith Jr. to make sure that he get his reps up because he's not going to be able to get a, uh, those type of reps up in practice. And for him not to put his pride aside and say, you know what, I'm going to go down to the G League to make sure I stay sharp. Also, go down to the G League, G League to prove to other organizations that you still got it. It's still an audition so that you're not just sitting on the bench for the New York Knicks so other teams can say, you know what, I might need a trade for this guy and he can come over here and get minutes for us. Yeah, I think it's great that the Knicks granted his request. And, you know, as Perk said, we're long past the point where there's something to be ashamed of going to the G League no. or something like that. I mean, good on Dennis Smith for saying, I want to play. The basketball is good. Yeah, I got to live in a bubble. That probably kind of stinks. But I want to see if my game's, you know, in condition to get ready for the NBA again. And there's only one way, in his opinion, he can do that, and that's to get in games. So good on everybody for making this work. Perk, when you mm -hmm. played with the G League team, uh, how did that sort of, how did you decide I'm comfortable with that? Because st I still want to do more in the NBA. Well, well, the thing is, one, you put your pride aside. I was a 13-year vet. But when you get down, there's such a humbling feeling. And it makes you work hard because you're watching so many guys, Rachel, mm -hmm. that I'm going to give you a quick story. We played in the, in, the Cle in the Cavs arena. The Cavs were on the road, and we played the Chicago Bulls. And I remember us walking into the locker room, and my teammates were sitting up here really taking pictures and posting it on Instagram of LeBron James locker, Kevin Love locker. We got blown out, but just them being in the locker room, I saw the joy on them guys' faces. And I'm going to tell you something. A lot of guys in the G League pass up six-figure jobs overseas just to get a 10-day. Mm -hmm. All they want is a jersey to say that, you know what, I made it to the league, whether it was for one month, and it was a humbling experience for me. When I got back to the NBA, I treasured everything from the training staff to the facilities to the to the private jets, the you know, the five-star hotels. I didn't take anything for granted. It was the best thing that happened for me in my career for us playing basketball. 
very humbling. I love it, Perk. I love that attitude, and it's gonna, I think it's going to be real good for Dennis Smith Jr. too, so kudos to him for doing the mature thing. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.